I'm going to talk you through screens. Now, what is a screen uh, in libgdx terms? Um, a screen is literally like a, a state of the game, so like um, the main menu uh, would be a screen, the game, the gameplay screen, level 1, level 2, uh, game over, uh, the about section, things like that, they'd be a screen. So to create a screen, you're going to want to go public. Uh, now I want to make a game screen, so game screen. Uh, you can name this whatever you want, this is going to be the name that you give to your class, uh, with all the game screen crap in it. And this is going to be the name of the actual object. So your game screen is going to be an object. Yes, yeah, go ahead and create the class. It's going to extend screen, sorry, implement. We haven't talked about implements now that I realize we might do <laughs> someday. Or I might just be a lazy bastard. We're going to get rid, rid of all these to-dos. And we will go through these next time, uh, in the next tutorial. Uh, so now that we've, you know, got our game screen object, um, we're going to create it, okay? Uh, we're going to go game screen equals new game screen this. Oh. So it's going to pass through this instance. So it's going to pass through this game. This is a game, okay? Because it extends game, so it is a game. Okay, like a pit bull was a pit bull, but it was also a dog. So, yeah. And then we're going to set the screen, so the screen that you know first starts, it's going to be the game screen. Whoops. Now we've got errors with this, right? Why? Because we put new game screen, yet this doesn't have a constructor. So we're going to do that now. So public game screen, and it's going to want a game. Sorry, it's going to want a my game. Okay, it's going to want an instance of this game. Okay, this my game. All right. And we're going to create a variable for it. Alright, seems good. And uh, this dot game equals game. We are pretty much done. Um, one thing you might ask is how, how do I run this? How do I run this? Um, you just assume, okay, click play. But no, don't do that. Don't do that. If you want to run it on desktop, uh, go ahead and open up the desktop project, open up source, my game, main, and then you'll run it from here. It won't work right now because well, it will, but there's nothing there. Yeah. Uh, so you can change the title. Uh, so the window here. Oh yeah! Completely forgotten. Yeah, now we've got a window. How awesome is that? Uh, yeah. So you can change the title of the window. Uh, use GL2. Put that to true. That just uses OpenGL 2.0 instead of 1.0. Use that. Do, do that for Android as well. Uh, so use GL uh, true. Alright. Uh, and you can set the width and the height. You can also do other other stuff like, uh, is it resizable? So that's false, etc. But yeah, I'm also going to teach you through how libgdx basically works, right? So we've got our my game. This is where all the source code is. When libgdx runs a game, okay, on a specific platform, say we're running it on desktop, what it'll do is it'll basically merge these two projects. Basically, it's got the source code of this and just the just this you know little overlay. You know, this is basically this its little overlay. Um, you know, with all the desktop crap in it. If we run it on Android, it'll run this and this, okay? And if we're on web, this and this. Yeah, it's simple enough. So when you want to run it on uh, the desktop, the just open up that file and run it. If you want to run it on Android, uh, it's that file, and you can set up an emulator or you can connect it to your own phone, and I'll go through that in a later tutorial. If you want to run it through HTML, uh, go ahead and run this one. Uh, when you do run it, it'll give you a URL. Just open that URL in uh, your browser. But yeah, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Thank you, so, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the 